students in the previous lesson radio wave propagation different modes of propagation and properties are covered under modes of propagation three propagations are discussed one is ground wave propagation second is sky, sky wave propagation third is space wave propagation in ground wave propagation the ground ground wave can propagate a considerable distance over the earth's surface particularly in the low frequency and medium frequency of the radio spectrum uh, sky in the sky wave propagation uh, the radio wave transmitted towards the sky and refracted by the ionosphere towards the desired location of the earth the third propagation is space wave propagation in this propagation the radio wave travels directly from eye transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna figure shows the radio wave propagation uh, between the transmitter and the receiver ground wave propagation for uh, low frequency range transmission in the range of from uh, 3 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz sky wave uh, propagation for long distance communication frequency range from 300 kilohertz to 30 megahertz and space wave propagation for line of sight uh, communication frequency range from 30 megahertz to 3000 gigahertz today class we see about the structure of ionosphere refraction and reflection of sky wave by ionosphere as discussed earlier in sky wave propagation the radio waves are reflected or refla refracted uh, by the ionosphere the ionosphere is a region of upper atmosphere from about uh, from about 80 km to 1000 km in altitude where a neutral air is ionized by solar photons and cosmic rays the ionization uh, occurs due to the absorption of the ultraviolet and uh, high energy radiating coming from the sun by air molecules. A figure shows the relationship between radio waves and ionization density. Ionization density are formed in the form formed in the in the form of three region. One is decreasing ionization, maximum ionization, increasing ionization. When the wave, when the radio wave uh, from the transmitter enters at the greater altitudes, enter into this region, the velocity of the wave decreases because of the concentration of gas molecules is very low, and the the radio wave is bent away from the earth at this region. Uh, as the altitude decreases, the wave is uh, highly dense in the center portion of the layer uh, refraction occurs more slowly because the ionization density is almost uniform uh, as the wave as the radio wave enters in this region increasing ionization region the the upper part of the wave it is bent towards the earth because of the ionization therefore the electrons and ions are not distributed evenly in the ionosphere so the ionosphere is divided into different layers different layers within the ionosphere there is a different ionospheric region which affect the propagation of radio signal in different ways D layer, E layer, F layer. F layer uh, which split into F1 and F2 layers all affect the radio signals differently. Uh, summary of forms of radiation causing ionization in the ionosphere layers uh, given in this table. Now let's see the electron density as function of altitude and various ionospheric layers is the different layers of ionospheric densities are called uh, namely D, E and F layers. F layers split into F1 and F2. Free electrons free electrons uh, densities on the order of 10 power 10 uh, to 10 power 12 electrons per cubic meter are produced by ionization from the sun rays as shown in this figure. During the day, F layer split into two layers 
called F1 and F2 during the daytime. Uh, while the D layer vanishes completely at night. Refraction and reflection by the ionosphere. Here when the radio wave is transmitted into ionized layer, a refraction or the bending of the wave occurred by the ionized layer. Refraction is caused by an abrupt change in the velocity of the part of the radio wave. The amount of the refraction, the, am the amount of the refraction that occurs depends on the three main factors. One is the density of ionization of the layer, frequency of the radio wave, the angle at which the wave enters the layer. So the previous slide, uh, the refraction depends on the three main factors. The density of ionization of the layer was discussed. Now let us see the reflection by the ionosphere depend on the factor frequency. When high frequency signals enter the ionosphere at low angle, the waves are bent, the waves are bent towards the earth by ionized layer. When operating uh, at frequency just below the maximum usable frequency, loss is quite small. Therefore, the radio signal may effectively bounce or skip between the earth and ionosphere or two times. If the ionized density, if the ionization density um, is very low, then the part of the, the upper part of the wave is bent away from the earth uh, and it is lost in space. So, to prevent this, low frequency must be chosen. Properties of uh, ionization as follows. The degree of ionization varies with height and the density of the atmosphere decreases with height. At greater heights or greater uh, altitudes, the solar radiation is intense but there are very few molecules to be ionized. And uh, the ionos uh, ionospheric layer uh, in the ionospheric region act as a reflector for certain range of frequency frequencies 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz. Electromagnetic waves higher than 30 megahertz penetrate the ionosphere and escape. The phenomen, uh, phenomena of bending uh, electromagnetic waves is similar to the total internal reflections in optics. Summary of the above topics, uh, uh, structure of ionosphere and ref uh, refraction or reflection by the ionosphere are given below. Long distance communication between the two points on the earth is achieved through reflection of electromagnetic waves by ionosphere during the skyway propagation. The refra reflections from the ionosphere are actually produced by refraction as the wave propagates through the ionosphere. And the ionosphere is concentrated region, highly charged ions and electrons that collective form, form an ionized gas or plasma. Hence the amount of ref uh, refraction uh, that occurs depends on the three main factors. Ionization density of the layer, uh, frequency of the radio wave, and, and the angle at which the wave enters the layer. These are the references followed for the above mentioned topics. Thank you.